Boatworks today is sponsored by Total Boat and Alexia Yacht Coatings, as well as supported by the generosity from the beautiful folks over on Patreon. Thank you so much. So welcome back to the shop, everybody. Hope you're all doing very, very well. My name is Andy with Boatworks Today, and this week I want to cover something that I've seen a lot of people run into. So here's the scenario. Uh, let's just say you find yourself having to do either some repair work or some modifications to your boat. You know, whatever it may happen to be, but regardless, it's going to involve some fiberglass work, right? So to try and, you know, get a little bit more information on what materials to use and all that other good stuff, you, you jump online, you know, like all of us do, and you start doing some searching. Well, inevitably, you're going to find yourself on some boating forums. Now, my experience with boating forums is that there tends to be a, a relatively small group of people that tend to be very vocal. And they, they're very helpful in a lot of ways. I mean, they are the first ones to respond to comments or questions. Uh, so I'm not digging on that at all. And in a lot of cases, they also tend to be very opinionated on what you should be using and how the, the work needs to be done. So inevitably, there's these, there's epoxy fanboys on these things. I mean, when I said opinionated, that was not an understatement. Uh, there are people that are uh, of, the, of the idea that if you're not using epoxy for your repair work, you're doing it wrong. And you'll, you'll see these types of comments over and over and over again. So you, know, you read through all these comments and posts and you're like, well, pfft, I guess epoxy is what I need to be using for, for my particular project. So you gather your materials, you go out to the boat, get everything prepped, you get all your glass wet laid up, and it looks fantastic. And very happy with it. It went just smooth as, uh, smooth as butter, right? Now, this is going to be an area that's going to be visible. So you, it, it needs to be, you know, fared in and then finished, ultimately. So come time to decide on your fairing compound. You're like, well, I used epoxy for the glass work. Epoxy, epoxy, epoxy. And maybe that's, you know, I, I should be looking at an epoxy-based material for my fairing as well. Now, don't get me wrong, I love epoxy. It is a wonderful, wonderful compound. Now, getting back to our situation here, this would, it would have been an excellent choice, providing you were going into the project with the intention of finishing it with paint, either topside or bottom paint, but finishing it with paint rather than gel coat. So, again, getting back to our situation here. So, everything is fared in, it's looking fantastic. In the back of your mind, you're thinking, I'm going to be back in the water here, at, you know, come Friday night. So all happy, and uh, so you get your gel coat all mixed up, you lay it up, go home, do a, little, uh, do a little victory dance, and you come back the following morning, and well, you run into this. Your gel coat did not cure. In fact, it didn't even come close to curing. It's not even setting up. It's just a hot mess. Now, before I get too far ahead of myself here, let me bring up to speed and show you how we got to this point.
Now, before we move forward here, I want to address a comment that I know for certain is going to come up. Now, several years ago, I did a video somewhere along these lines, uh, kind of showing the, the compatibility between with gel coat going over top of epoxy. Now, there are certain situations, uh, specifically with certain types of epoxy. I'm not talking about brands, but I'm talking about certain types of epoxy. Now, if, you, if you've ever looked around, I mean, you know that there are a lot of different types of that type of... I'm trying not to say epoxy too many times. This is going to turn into a drinking game. <laughs> but anyways, it is what it is. So, but you know, there are several different types of epoxies. There's fairing uh, epoxy. There's flexible epoxy. There's thick casting epoxy. There's just, there's a lot of different types and they each have their own formulation or in, in a lot of cases, actual completely different base components. And that is the biggest factor as far as what's happening here. Now, I'm not a chemist. I don't understand and I don't know, nor do I really care, what the base components are for each type of epoxy. It's just not my thing. But more often times than not, the, the, the base components for your fairing compounds, like your, your fairing epoxies, they tend to be the types of bases that are just 100% incompatible with polyester resin. And in this case, it just completely inhibited the, the ability of the gel coat to cure. So getting back to our example here, is there a way that we can salvage this without having to sand everything back off and start over? Probably. Uh, we're going to use what's called a tie coat. And really what that is, it's a material that goes between two other materials that are incompatible with each other when they're directly in contact. Uh, so that hopefully everything just kind of bonds and, and works as it should. Now, I want to make something very clear that this is not the preferred way to do it. Like if you could go back in time and kind of start the project over uh, using different materials, that would be the ideal way to go. But right now we're, we're in the mode of trying to salvage the project. So this is, while this will work, I, I can't say it would be my first option, but it is certainly an option, again, like if you're trying to salvage a project, you know, given your, your situation where you're at right now. So now for our tie coat, we're going to be using what's actually a, a barrier coat. Uh, this is an epoxy-based barrier coat. Now, remember we just mentioned a minute ago, this, the, the formulation for this is much different than the formulation or the epoxy that was used as the actual fairing compound. So in theory, this material will bond very well onto the fairing compound, as well as provide a, a layer for the gel coat to bond onto that. So now our tie coat has been curing for roughly 24 hours, give or take. And it's, I think it's about ready to sand. It's maybe it's slightly tender, but well, we'll see how it sands. If it gums up, then I'll just give it a few more hours. But I think it should be good to go. Now, before I do that, uh, because this is an epoxy-based material, just to kind of make sure I'm covering my bases here, I'm going to go through, I'm going to clean the surface with some water first, just in case there is any kind of amine in this formulation that could float up to the surface. I want to remove all of that first, and then I'm going to come over after that dries, come over with a solvent wipe just to make sure that, that surface is nice and clean. I do not want to, if there's any contaminants on there at all, I don't want to be sanding that into the surface of the tie coat. So let me get everything cleaned up and then we'll mix up some gel coat. I screwed up. <laughs> there was uh, there was one small but important uh, detail that I that I tried to rush, and well, it it, it didn't work out in my favor. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Not at all how I was expecting this to go, and I, I know it works because I've I've done this before. But uh, just like I said, just one one little detail, and it kind of shot the whole thing in the shorts. But oh well, it's it is what it is. Everybody likes a good fail, right? So on that note, I'm going to close this one out, and well, there's really nothing to salvage here. I screwed up, so it is what it is. So hopefully, at least you got a little bit of a laugh out of it, and if you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you in advance. Next week should be much better. If you have any questions, comments, guesses on where I screwed up, leave those down below. And as always, I want to thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you next week. Hopefully with a win. This has been a Bootworks Today Projection.